What's going on, True Team? Hey, man, I kind of talk to y'all about a feminine woman. Like, a feminine woman is woman is the backbone of your life. She coming to your kingdom that you build and, and keep and hold you hold your kingdom up. You feel me? She coming to your kingdom and keep it settled. She keep it with substance. She keep it moving. She keep the love, the motion, and everything going into your kingdom. You feel me? She make sure when you go out in the world that you have love back at home. You feel me? You ain't got to come back to home with fucked up shit because a lot of black men come back home with fucked up shit see niggas really don't realize that though see when you got a queen she no matter what she goes through she respects you and she never gonna disrespect what you got going on because she know you go through it too but that's where two come together and use their heads and understand like the best way for us to keep the family together and keep shit going on is for us to love each other and make sure our kids don't have to go through the same cycle that we went through because that's what we fuck up at as parents and, and females and males, period, man, is that we, we let our kids go through the same cycle. The whole point of being a man is knowing yourself and knowing what you want out of life. That's what makes you the person that you are. That's what puts you in the right predicament. A, 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 a woman that's feminine, is a loving, caring woman, a, a nurturing woman. She cares. She she does shit for you. She do shit. She pay attention to little things. She does shit for you that a lot of motherfuckers, a lot of women ain't never done for you. That's what be so weird. Like, you know, you know, a lot of niggas, like my brother was just telling me the other day, he said, my woman did some shit for me that I would have never thought, I would have never thought she would have paid attention to. But it's crazy. But it's crazy because like when a woman do that shit for men, certain men not used to getting that type of love. So it's like, damn. I ain't expect you to do no shit like this for me. This kind of crazy. I ain't never had no girl do no shit like this for me. So it's kind of like when I look at shit like that, because it's very rare that niggas had that happen. So it's like, damn, what the fuck? Like, now I got to change my whole frame of thinking. You feel me? Ladies, it all depends on what you do for your man that make him think a certain type of way. You got to understand that, like, some niggas that be in a relationship just with you, they really don't trust you because you ain't gave them a valid, a valid reason to trust you. Now, once you do some out of rage, outrageous shit and throw their fucking mind off to show that you appreciate them, they start thinking a different type of way. They start putting all the bitches that they was fucking with towards the side and start being with you. Now, it ain't no, it ain't no fucking rule of saying that all black men, black men, it's no fucking book rule in the book that says a black man is supposed to have one wife. No, we can have multiple wives because all different wives have different traits. See, understand when a man be with a different woman, it's because they all have different traits and all different things that comes to the table. That's what makes them viable. This woman probably can cook good. This woman probably can nurture me, care for me. This woman probably give me the knowledge that I need. This woman teach me about credit. This woman do this. See, basically, it's the same thing that women do. They get different men to do different things for them. And we just getting different women that have different type of tendencies and different things for us that put that brings our energy up. Because if we get used to one woman, the relationship is going to start to get born. That's why a lot of marriages don't last because it never we I, a man can never just do what he wants. It's always a limit to what the fuck we could do in life, and that's why a lot of shit don't last. If you really think about it, like if, if I'm being with one woman my whole fucking life, right, it's going to get born. It's it's going it's just going to get born. The pussy gonna feel the same. The sex gonna feel the same. The shit that I'm just gonna get sick of, gonna get born. It's just, if your woman don't put a spice to your relationship, then it's not gonna be the way it is. What rule in the fucking world that says it's black men supposed to only just have one wife, unless you comfortable with that. But black men are not supposed to just have one wife. This is the truth. Sorry, ladies, it's the truth. A black man not supposed to just have one wife. Women see things their way and never a man's way. A woman thinks she can think like a man. She don't. You, w women think they know what a man think and they know they think they're a man. But this is the fucking problem. You don't know what a man think. You don't know. You don't know what a man think. You're not a man. Women try to act like men. They try to be men and they think they know what men think. No, the fuck you don't. You don't know what a man thinks. That's why a lot of y'all end up in terrible situations because y'all think y'all know what a man thinks. Y'all really don't know what a man thinks. You think that pussy between your legs, that's the only thing you can give to a nigga. You can't give nothing else to a nigga but pussy. So when a nigga cut that off, it's like, what's the use? Like, like that's how they control us, fellas. If you think about it, they give us pussy. That's the way they control us. That's the only way a woman can control us is by giving us pussy. That's how, that's what she do. She, but that same pussy that she giving you, she gave to a hundred and some other niggas. So just be mindful of the pussy that you putting your dick in and you talking to. And just be mindful. Just be mindful of the real shit that be around you. Because the pussy that you putting your dick in and the one, the one that you talking to is, is <laughs> like, I'm just being, I'm just being honest, my nigga, like. I'm like, like, I'm just being way honest. Like, it's just being true. I don't know what else to tell y'all, but I want y'all to get like fellas, like understand, bro. 
the best way for you, a feminine woman is the best way to go. I don't even talk to bitches today, masculine. I hate it. I, I look at you crazy. As soon as you catch an attitude with me, I don't got time for that shit. I'm the type of nigga where I don't, it's not about a challenge with me. I just already, the shit that I've been through, I don't want to have to take that out on you. Like, it'd be, it'd be like, I can't deal with a bitch who got aggravating issues. Like, I'm already aggravated and you're aggravating me. I, I, I deal, I got to go through, I got so much stress on my back every day from doing the shit that I got to deal with. So why the fuck would I have a bitch that's stressing me out? 100% of niggas let women stress them out. They go, they literally deal with a woman stressing them out and they go already go out in the world and be stressed out. But it's up to you. Only a motherfucking, only, can't nobody take your energy, fellas. It's what person you let take your energy, bro. Give your energy to the right women out here. Quit giving your energy to peon bitches because peon bitches, this is what they love. They love taking niggas' energy. They love popping their pussy on the internet. They love the attention. Regardless of what the fuck world we stay in, women love attention. I can't listen to no nigga who ain't never had over 10 women. I, not even that. I say I can't. I, I ain't gonna say I can't listen to no nigga that ain't never had over 10 women. I can't listen to no nigga that ain't never been through no situations with no woman, like as in. A, a situation where it was toxic, like a situation where you almost put your hands on her, you did some crazy shit, because I know for a fact there's a lot of niggas that been through that situation where they ended up getting going back and forth with her because she wanted to be an ass, like, you feel me? Some women gotta understand, all you gotta do is roll my weed, cook, shut the fuck up sometimes, just do what you gotta do, like, that's it, like, like, Women gotta understand. Once you shut the fuck up, a lot of shit will go your way. And, and instead, of, and that's why I tell women: instead of you, instead of you being so fucking crazy all the goddamn time, just say what you want. Because a, a a man don't know what a woman wants. He's not gonna know what a woman wants unless a woman says this. You have to. You can't expect me to just know. Hey, I want to fuck. You can't just say that. I mean, you can't just be like. You can't just, ugh, I'm catching it. Like, you know how y'all catch y'all little attitude with that little, ugh, attitude? You can't do that. Because how the fuck is we supposed to know what you want? It's impossible. You can't just say that. I'm not going to know what the fuck you want. I don't know what you want. It's not what you think. So you have to really be mindful of the fact that, like, yeah, this is what you want. But if you're not telling me nothing, how the fuck am I supposed to know? You're just leaving me in the dark. You're basically you basically making your own self mad. Women make their own self mad and don't notice that shit. They say dumb shit that's stupid and they don't notice that shit either. And they tell them they self and they don't notice they telling on they self. Like a woman would be like, I just had a, a text earlier. She said, did I do something to you? No, did you? <laughs> did you did, did you do something? So I'm asking you because you, you obviously feel like you did something. So should I'm at like I'm asking you because you know you gotta test women, man. You have no choice but to because a lot of them be a lot of them be telling on themselves and don't even know they be telling on themselves. That's why I tell y'all never trust the bitch who let the who let the light get to her head. That's why I say a feminine woman is the best way to go because she love you, she nurture you, she care for you, she she pay attention to little shit because a, a woman who feminine care about herself and she pay attention to you and that's when love really be the shit that love is. That that's when love really exists. When a woman care about herself and when she start caring about herself, she start paying attention to the shit you like and start adding spices onto your relationship. That's what make you the the best man in the world that you can be. Peace. Follow me at Actual Truth underscore. Follow me at TG Like, comment, subscribe to Actual Truth. Peace.